Here we go, let's go, here we go. Here we go, let's go, here we go. Join me! Here we go, let's go, here we go. Here we go, let's go, here we go. Yeah! Yeah! Screaming in the mic. Ah! Yes! <laughs> anyway. I bet people think we're crazy. <laughs> Babe, we got about five and a half thousand. No, we got about nearly six thousand people. <laughs> Uh, subscribe across all this channel and both of our individual channels and I'm pretty sure most of them are aware of that at this point <laughs> yeah pretty much Maybe. oh by the way speaking of subscribers you're about to hit 400 on your channel yep I have no idea how I got to that point but I, I, I do have um, a big amount I remember when we first met and I did YouTube I remember when you had more subscribers than me I had 60 something when we first met. Yeah, it's crazy like how um, your channel actually on YouTube has been around for like nine years and yet the majority of your subscribers are from the last two. <laughs> yes. Like that basically means I've been getting subscribers because of you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you should do a method to keep yourself like uh, consistently uploading, upload like one TikTok video on your YouTube channel individually. Like, just keep oh uploading like 15 second TikTok videos. No. Which is bullshit, because I remember when the Vine thing was still around, and a Pikmin died. When, uh, when the Vine thing was still around, people would like upload other people's Vines, like a six second Vine, they'd get like three million views on a six second video that was not made by them. Yeah. But. TikTok is dying at this point, to be honest. Like, I remember when I first joined, my one of my first videos got like 4,000 views in TikTok. Mm -hmm. But now they barely get 10 views. You gotta keep producing the content. You gotta use the hashtags. You gotta, you gotta manipulate the algorithms. I don't know if, I don't know how uh, TikTok's algorithms are. But. Uh, me neither, but remember we were talking about it the other day? How it, when you search for a hashtag, it only shows you like the trending stuff only? Like, for example, if I look for, if I look for furry, it only shows me, uh, I was gonna say vines. It only shows me TikToks from those, from these two more popular, um, TikTok furries. Like the, the red one and the, the green the green 18 year old yeah the green girl and the the red the, the furry with the red fursuit yeah i still can't get over that one like the first <laughs> thing i saw from the red one on tiktok was him showing his ass or something through a mirror oh yeah i didn't like that one <laughs> i was like, like everything else like, is funny except for that for that one where he's wearing a i think a sweater or something but no <laughs> like just just underwear <laughs> yeah I'm just gonna like, I don't mind, I'm just like, dude, like what if that eventually like keeps you from getting a job or something? I don't know, I wouldn't say I so. Know. Well, uh, he doesn't show his face, that's a thing. He did. Oh yeah, still, I don't know, I always think like, <laughs> what if like an employer is like, hey, I'm gonna look up the seat record guy before I hire him. <laughs> and... <laughs> anyway. I don't know, like at this point, at this point, furries are not viewed as badly as they used to be. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> I know that, for example, there's a lot of people who hide the fact that they're furry because of that. Because they're afraid of losing their job, which I don't think should be something. I, I don't think it should be an issue at all. Depends on like what the job is and what area you're living in, where like what the stance on being a furry is. Like, if you're in a very conservative, like, redneck area, they're probably gonna, like, criticize you for it. And, like, be like, we're not gonna hire you because they're idiots. But, yeah. yeah. I can see that. So, how was your day? <clears throat> oh, by the way, uh, this time we're recording this video, it's Thanksgiving! So, happy late Thanksgiving to anyone watching. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't celebrate Thanksgiving, so it was just another another day for me. 
what's Paraguay's equivalent? Explain to the viewers what Paraguay's, at least if you have an equivalent to it, like what's the closest thing to an equivalent of Thanksgiving? Okay, Thanksgiving is to celebrate the death of, of all these people. Native Americans. Native Americans, right? Oh. Well, that's what it actually is, but they don't want to tell you that. <laughs> it's... So, yeah. So, it is that, right? Like yeah, that's the... what it actually was. Um... I... Let me think. Because I don't really know... What could be, like, celebration of other people. You could celebrate the day when that one president died when he, like, tried to kidnap teenage girls and bathe in their virgin blood, so... Uh, yeah, but we don't have that as a celebration. I don't think we have one where we celebrate other people's deaths. Yeah. We celebrate Castro's death. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, but, um... How do Paraguayans view uh, Castro? Just to uh, just be honest. Uh, I don't really know. Like, I'm pretty sure that most people are against um, dictatorship, but um, I don't really know other people's point of view over like Castro's. Um, Speaking of, uh, yeah. Speaking of uh, horrible things going on in other countries, how's Venezuela doing? Actually, they're doing better. Yay! Uh, I follow a YouTuber, actually two YouTubers, who uh, made a, a few videos on how how is it there, like mm -hmm. how how is it to live in Venezuela as of right now, and like they made a video last year, and they made a comparison video this year, and both of their videos. Oh show really big contrast um, the fact that a lot of people are emigrating and they're leaving the country is actually good per se mm -hmm. because um, <clears throat> since it's a communist uh, regime it means that everyone gets the same and if there is less people in the country it means that the people who stay in the country are getting more like more food, more money, and stuff like that. So, um, mm -hmm. it's it's not good either because you know you you are um, by staying in Venezuela you are agreeing to having no um, freedom of, of speech. Like, if you talk bad about your government, you are more likely going to go to jail or get killed. Um, <clears throat> news outlets, um, elections, everything's rigged, everything is managed by the government. So basically, if you stay in Venezuela, you're actually supporting the whole communism thing, you know. Forcing people to live a life that well, most of them don't want and are forced into because they were born there. <laughs> but this I'm also got happy it. that yeah, it got, got really serious real fast. <laughs> Very. S we're gonna talk about the issues of the the economic and social uh, demise of Venezuela in a Pikmin let's play. I know, right? Oh, oh. One good thing that I have to give um, Venezuelan uh, government is that even though it's really strict, it's not as bad as North Korea. Because um, if you want to leave the country, you can. You need a passport and they make you wait a lot of time if you want to get a passport, but it's not impossible. You know? Yeah. In North Korea, you gotta escape. <laughs> yeah, you gotta escape, and you don't know that if you escape, you're gonna manage to survive and so on. So, at least I give that positive point to Venezuela, per se. I don't really know. Speaking of North Korea, the <laughs> fact that that everyone there is so skinny and to the bone, and yet their president is a thick boy, freaking <laughs> their leader, not president. Yeah, just the same with Cuba. I mean, Cuba. I mean, Cuba. Cuba. <laughs> Cuba. <laughs> I was remembering Cuba. the thing you said the other day. I don't remember what you said about Cuba the other day. 
Cuba. <laughs> you mean Cuba? Well, you say Cuba in Spanish. I'm sorry. Cuba raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? Oh why do you say Cuba, but you say scuba? Scuba diving. Yeah. <laughs> what it, that's what it is. Scuba diving. Yeah, but why, why is it? Oh my scuba god, that's the name of the episode. Scuba. Why, why is it not? Why is it not I Cuba? Don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. But um, <laughs> that's gonna be the name of this episode. It's just gonna be the word Cuba, K O O B A, all caps. <laughs> Cuba. Just you know, we haven't been talking about what's going on in the game or anything. I know, right? I've been paying attention to how many Pikmins you've been, you know, gathering. Yeah, we've grown, we've grown like a net worth of 20 today. I think I think this is the episode where um, I remember recording. This is like the one episode where we don't really like get that much done. We only get like one ship piece, but we're like growing our percent. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> puzzles. Bless you. My goodness. You always sneeze in the. You guys didn't know. She always sneezes in doubles, and on rare occasions it's triple. Never singular. She never has like a singular. A choo. It's always a a choo a choo. You can make like a trap remix with it. A choo 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 a choo choo. <laughs> I re I never noticed that until you noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> My whole life I've been sneezing, <laughs> sneezing double like. <laughs> It's impossible for me to sneeze just once. It's alright. <laughs> you gotta clean out that colon. That nostril. <laughs> that colon? <laughs> what? I don't know. I got colon confused with nostril for a second. <laughs> First I say Koopa, then you say Koopa. <laughs> what? <laughs> I really should not have these red pigments being blown when there's a patch of water right there. Or a lake of water. For a second there, I thought that the black one came back to life. <laughs> What's it with black enemies coming back to life, you racist? No kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm not... Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're confusing me, sir. You're confusing me. <laughs> I'm not pressing Wendell. Wendell. Oh, yes. Uh, you understand? Uh, as president of the United States, as President Wendell, um, all black people should uh, buy me a Japanese copy of Wind Waker in an old Spice Orange GameCube. Uh. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now look at your girlfriend. Now look at me. And now, um. <laughs> and then, um, also you understand? Instead of eating uh, fruit by the foot, the, the Garant brand, it's just gonna be called the foot. <laughs> Just the foot. The foot. Oh my god. <laughs> that was really gross when you sent me that. <laughs> you loved it there. It was funny. <laughs> the foot. <laughs> oh my god, you just reminded me of something from an episode of iCarly that was really weird. The ketchup? No, there was a... Oh, what, are you talking about that one where he just drank ketchup or something? <laughs> no, there's one where they really fucking pour ketchup on the girl's feet. On the girl's pussy? What? Feet. Oh. No, I'm talking about, there's an episode where um, Carly is watching a TV show, and it's like, it's just an ep a TV show where there's just this foot that has a mouth on it, a human mouth on the bottom of the foot. He's like, hey, I'm a foot. And it's like, what the fuck? Hey, I'm a fuck. Oh my god, you're making me think of the uh, Dan Schneider pedophilia accusations. <laughs> I don't really understand those. Like, I know he has a fetish for feet, but... I don't know. Unless the actresses come out and they're like, Oh my god, I feel abused because he likes feet. I don't. <laughs> well, like... I don't want to say, well, he paid you, so don't complain, but no. Mm, uh, yeah. No, I'm kidding. That's... No, the thing is, the thing is, like, um, like, if they're underage, I think it's kind of wrong on his part. Like, you can't, like, like, telling, like, teenage child actors to, like, do, 
Even though it's a most, it's not seen as sexual, but if it's like secretly sexual to you, that's kind of fucked up. It is. <clears throat> but like, if they're cons- if they're adults and they sign the contract to be on the show, you gotta deal with the weird foot stuff. Unless he's like going up, he's like, "Hey, part of the contract is you gotta uh, let me suck on your toes." <laughs> then. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I remember that like some of the girls like. It's just accusations, but like when she, they did interviews to like get on the show, they had to come into the office barefoot or something like that. I don't know. What the fuck? It's kind of like like you're trying to do some like Japanese thing with it or something. <laughs> you guys better get that bulb orb. To her, I want to get the extra Pikmin. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Damn it. <laughs> Well, at least they got to the safe zone where they didn't get left behind. Yeah. And then one Pikmin shows up. Oh my god, Steam. Did we even get a ship piece today? I don't think we did. No, you didn't. You just got a bunch of Pikmin. And we solved, like, some of the puzzles leading to it, so. Yeah, yeah, at least that's something good. We didn't leave behind any, that's good. I think we only, I think through this playthrough of me recording, we only leave behind about 20. Yeah, just, just 20. When I see yeah, a Pikmin so. engaged, fears battle with other creatures of this world. I often grow uneasy, wondering why they never attacked me. Could it be that... They see him as a god, that's why. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> really? The Pikmin view Olimar as god and they do his bidding. We're doing god's work, everyone. <laughs> Well, if you think about it, it did happen in South America when um, mm-hmm. Columbus came here and like people in their in and their boat, they were like seen as gods mm-hmm. by by they, the people here. But then in America, they killed and raped their women. But yep. Anyway, uh, this is a good discussion for next episode. Any last words? I hear your mom coming in and say it. <laughs> Any last words, Cramchy? I love myself. What? <laughs> you asked for last words. Bye. Not even a goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>